Scorpio, welcome to your January 2018 love reading. It's Raina here. So Scorpio, before I begin, I just want to let you know that I have put up your sign for 2018 uh, general tarot reading on my channel. Check that out if you're interested. And also a special on-demand reading on Vimeo. For 2018 for Scorpio, and the title of that one is New Year, New Love. So that is for single people, or people who are, you know, wanting to be single, I guess. And uh, so, because when I do these readings, you know, for love, it seems like they typically revolve around romance. So uh, then I'm, I feel free to just... If that's what I gravitate towards in these readings, I don't feel like I'm leaving anybody out. The other thing, so the, the links, the link for that is below and also for my website, rainamoonastrology.com, where you can order a private reading if you would like. And, um, oh, I was going to say something, let me think. Eh. Oh, yes. Um, well, forget it. <laughs> I was thinking in terms of astrological timing, but um, I don't really have anything to say about that right now. I'll just do the cards. I like this time of day because it's like very, um, it makes everything nice and bright when there's sun. So for the, for the theme of January for Scorpio, we have the Four of Swords, which is really a, a very passive card and can deal with hanging back and going within uh, rather, even just physical rest for some reason. But in a love reading, I'm thinking of somebody who's taking a breather and trying to get yourself together because of something that happened. Now, this could be even with somebody of the, of the, uh, there could be somebody involved in January who is of the air element or they have it strong in their chart. The, the air signs are Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And for some reason, you know, um, Scorpios end up with Aquarians. And I was looking at it in terms of it being a, a square angle, which is kind of challenging, but it seems like it opposites attract. But I was actually shocked to find out that there are these relationships going on because there's so much difference in the temperament of an Aquarian and a, and a Scorpio person. So I could see the clash, uh, how that would happen very easily for that those particular sun signs in combination. And, um, but let's say, you know, this is just talking about you resting, recuperating from something that was stressful, probably within a relationship and maybe seeing if you could get back together with that person, because we have in the past position, the seven of swords. So, um, whoever this person was, this is a card of deception of in some cases, it can be actual physical theft, but it can be a card of someone who is being um, sneaky, going behind somebody's back, cheating. And if this happened to you, Scorpio, you may have like distanced yourself from this person in order to kind of get your head together. And we even have for the current position here, the hangman, which is connected to um, just letting go of the need to control the situation and possibly seeing it from a different point of view. 
and this is very important, um, not in order to get back with somebody, but in order not to feel bad about what has happened because a lot of times the default position is to immediately believe that there's something wrong with you if somebody cheats or something. So that's incredibly important. And with Scorpio, the lower expression of Scorpio can involve revenge, can be like, I'm so mad, I want... I want that person to know what it feels like, what they did to me, to happen to them. Like you want to create their <laughs> their instant karma. And I, when I say you, uh, many Scorpios will not stoop to that, but some Scorpios may feel a very strong urge to lash out at that person. And the reason, besides, you know, it being just creating more negative energy, the reason that this is not a good idea is because sometimes you may be dealing with a person who is actually a narcissist and they get off on your reaction. They get off on your pain. So it's very important to have the dignity um, that can see exactly what's going on. And Scorpio, more than most people, when they disengage from their feelings because you are so emotional, you have a very strong capacity of seeing to the piercing to the quick and seeing to exactly what somebody is up to and 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 seeing if they're trying to play games with you head games cuz this the the 7 of swords can be head games and you could be kind of like with the 4 of swords you're getting away from all of that drama and you're just chilling you know with the hangman and um the higher message, the spiritual message, is represented by the moon card. So this could be letting you know that something is, is really being kept from you. You might be given half-truths by this person. And you may think you know everything about a situation and you don't know the half of it. But whatever is happening, know that if you allow yourself to give yourself the rest that you need and, and stay away from maybe a toxic environment, you may, you know, things may come to pass. Uh, either you, you will intuitively figure out what's going on or there will be actual... Uh, you know, a big reveal somehow. And uh, the truth usually comes out. And so you don't have to believe things that, that don't seem logical. If somebody, if you feel that somebody has been telling you uh, things that are not true, but you can't prove it, then it is a good idea to separate from them and to kind of just get your head to clear. What um, what could be crossing you is represented by the Six of Wands. For some Scorpio people, you may be feeling a sense of... Um, it's funny because usually I would read this in the reverse position, but because Jupiter is in Scorpio, I have a feeling that you are experiencing a lot of success in your life. This is the card of success and recognition, but it could be that you are being uh, kept from, you're, you're being distracted by all of this stuff. And I mean that you don't have the ability to, you, to like um, devote yourself to a um, relationship that is, you know, right now. Now, um, let me, let me backtrack. You may have been involved with somebody who was resentful of your success. And so in this case, success um, has been, you know, a problem for this relationship. But that doesn't mean that, you know, it's bad to be successful. It means that you were with the wrong person, that that person was too weak to handle your success. In some cases... It can be that uh, you just don't have the time. And maybe 
uh, if you were in a long-term relationship, there were instances where you were not available and that person just sought attention elsewhere. And this is not to blame anyone for somebody else's decision to, che to, to cheat, because really when you think about it, even if that were the case, that that person felt neglected or um, that you just didn't have that time together, that person could have said, you know, I really think that you are in this phase where you're very involved with your career, so I'm going to let you do that, and I'm going to go and, because um, I'm really interested in, in having a lot of interaction with somebody. At least they're above board about it. But, you know, some people, they either are afraid to express their needs, so it's easier for them just to go behind somebody's back, or they want their cake and eat it too, you know? It could be that one or the other. Uh, and neither one is something that you need in your life. But I, I would say that with this um, this card with the um, that really is about good things happening to you, is that it's almost like you feel all these other good things are happening to me. Why can't I have a good relationship? And you have to get out of that mindset because usually life is like that. There's always a fly in the ointment. There's always some area that seems like it's not working out. And if we can just be philosophical about it and not expect perfection all the time, I think we can work around it and, and not let it get us down. What is coming in or what is um, advice is represented by the lover's card. This could be a choice. Now, interestingly, the lover's card connects to Gemini and Gemini is one of the air signs. So I don't know if that if there was a person that you've separated yourself from that you will get back together with. And um, who knows? Maybe for some of you, because you are uh, Scorpios, maybe you did not get intimate with somebody. And I'm not talking about sexual. I'm talking about emotionally. This is a card that, obviously, you see the nudity that people think of as sexual intimacy, but also emotional intimacy. And sometimes there are some Scorpio people who have a tendency to, to have trust issues. And so they, in, a, in a, an ironic twist, given their intense natures, they may keep relationships kind of on the surface. And I always think of like um, some of these Scorpio people who they know all of your secrets, but they rarely reveal any of their own. I always find that very uh, amusing that people are able to, to get away with that. But when, you know, intimacy is about vulnerability. It's about the ability to be, um, to show your weaknesses. And I, what I mean by that is that you have fears, that you are sensitive. And if you try to maintain this um, facade that is very, um, that is just above it all and very um, powerful and, and uh, not, not vulnerable, you may uh, fool some people, but they won't necessarily feel that you're being real with them. Um, they may sense that something is missing, and they also may not feel that they really know you that well, and that could also create problems within the relationship. So just be very careful about that tendency to do that, because uh, it could indicate that there is some um, something that needs improvement in how you relate. Now, for the outcome, we get another card associated with swords. Um, this can go either way. The swords can relate to a lawyer, so it could be some of you, because of your uh, time away from somebody, that you say, okay, I think that I know what I want to do. I want to move on with my life, and I want to get divorced. For some people, you may be getting back with a Gemini or other air sign, or they have that very prominent in their chart. Perhaps it was a misunderstanding. Um... You know, this card, too, doesn't have to be cheating. It can just simply be that you're going your own way. So maybe you were not sure you wanted to get involved with this person, and now they've come back into your life. 
uh, or you've allowed them back into your life and you feel that you are ready for a relationship. Um, yeah, I mean, especially if you've been coming off of a long-term uh, relationship that broke up, you may have met somebody that was a sword sign and an air sign and felt like it, the timing wasn't right. And uh, you decide after a, taking a breather that you're ready to start a relationship. And, uh, you know, some of the things that may have been kept from you may come out in some way. We do have a lunar eclipse at the end of um, the month. And uh, this happens to be in Leo, which is your 10th house. But um, just in general, because it is a very powerful full moon, it could be like a lot of ex secrets are exposed uh, for everyone. And in, these, in this case, for you, this could be a liberating experience. This is a blue moon, by the way, too, the second full moon in a month. So there's that sense of rarity with it. And um, yeah, it could be a time when you just kind of are like, wow, so this is what has been going on all along. And I just knew bits and pieces. And that allowed that person to manipulate you. And now it's like you're empowered because you you can really move on now. You might consult a lawyer. Maybe you thought there was something you could you could salvage from the relationship and you realize that it, it really is a lot worse than you thought. But um, yeah, so I see a lot of good things for you, Scorpio, and um, good luck to you in January. Take care. Bye.